Hello everyone and welcome back to Fable Heyman our blind Iron Man playthrough here in Urtok. The desolation. We have unleashed a calamity upon the world. We have 11 days remaining of pneumonia, which reduces our maximum stamina by 33% in all battles, which sucks. And scavenger prisoners have escaped, so that we'll be encountering them more often. And we decided, well, by we I mean me, so all of the blame's on me of course. But if we have success, you can take the credit too. Uh, we decided to march to the north. The north north. Or Norse, if you're short on time. <laughs> anyway, to the north, so that we can clear out this portion of the map looking for the second zone. And then we can move our way to the east. If it is required. But first things first. Folks are spreading the word about some hostile Vadorian soldiers encamped nearby. To the west. No one knows what their business is here. Artorias the Guardian Mutator Agile is about to be absorbed. You can absorb up to three mutators at most. That sounds good. Warning! Uh-oh. The mutation of Urtak has evolved again. His health was lowered by 6%, but thanks to the mutation, he has also acquired a new trait, Delirium. Your scouts have reported that a group of bounty hunters... Did I accidentally press the wait turn? Turn wait? I don't know. Uh, has been sent from the southwest of this zone to eradicate you. They are nine days away. So we should find a defensible position and hold up. Artorius has absorbed a mutator. It is now a permanent part of his body. That was a lot of stuff happening in one turn. So that was, of course, the agility thing. We just have free agility now. Nice. It was only six. But free agility is free agility, you know? Also, the music completely cut out. I hate it when it does that. Mostly because then I get really conscientious. Like, oh, I have to say something. I have to fill... The Void, you know? I don't know if that's actually true, but... Oh well. The maximum focus is reached. You don't reach focus very quickly, so that's probably not good. Honestly, this life region is probably th the ticket. Probably the ticket. On normal... Cr well, do I crit? I'll give it to him for now, because I don't think two times of shield ally, that's not really helpful. I don't think there's much else I can give him. Now, I wish I had the critical hit focus ability. We had it once, and I've never gotten it again. Heals target for 35% maximum HP within two turns and removes bleed. That's really good. Do we just bring in a villager and, like, plop them in the back and give them this so that I can heal two turns? That means so I can heal twice in one combat? That might be a strategy. But anyway. Enough babbling. This is an encampment of Valdorian soldiers. They must have deserted their duties in the Valdor Empire to do some dirty business to the zone. They have some valuable items and also trillium awaiting to be plundered. Might it be worth attacking them? Absolutely. Now, what are the Valdorian soldiers? Oh, my instant regret. These guys are armored to the teeth. These guys are cool. What does this remind me of? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, we have to be careful with our positioning here. I'll put him down here, but you can see the spikes of death. I wonder... I can't see their traits here, can I? No. So we're going to play very defensively. And trying to... Because I bet... I would bet money, which I don't do very often. That this guy with a shield can push. I would bet. So, we want to make sure we're not in position to get wrecked. How do I do that the best, though? From here? Hmm. I'm just trying to think of where I can place people safely. Oh, this looks scary. I'm not confident about this one, lads. I should mention that um, I'm very tired. <laughs> I was like... 
You know what? They're tough opponents indeed. Do you really think we need to defeat them? Yeah. Um, I was chilling, as one does. And I was like, you know what? I could play WoW right now. I thought about doing that. Or I could record some more. Because I'm kind of, sort of, not really, uh, behind, behind in quotes. I just wanted to make sure I had one more thing for uh, the upload log. And, uh, well, now I do. I suppose depending on positioning, this could still be really bad. But we'll see. Ooh. Wait, why is Earth Tuck wounded already? I don't know, but I don't like it. So this guy's going to have to shoot that dude. Artorias is already in a bit of a pickle. But there's not much I can do about that at the moment. I mean, I could heal him, but we'll see how his health goes, I guess. Um, I don't have a clear shot on anything, so I'm going to have to move back. He's in a risky, a frisky position, but that's okay. That's just what we're dealing with. Good shot. Oh, Artorias is in big trouble. Yep. That was our tanky lads. Hmm. These guys are very durable. He wasn't kidding when he said they are tough opponents. He reflected that? Wow. Shatterproof. Hmm. How do I help? I think this is going to sound bizarre, but I think Urtuk wants to get into this fight. Maybe. This guy has so much armor. This has actually worked out really well. I've kind of prevented them from moving around me. The problem is that I have to deal with this, and I'm about to be flanked. So he's dead. I'm going to move here. Oh, yeah. The punching has begun. You're going to run. 50, 50. How is this hit hail? Whatever. So I either jump on the archer, who's very annoying. All right, stop this guy in his tracks. Gonna Aegis him. Retaliate me. Bruh. And go in. I think we want to try a concerted effort on killing this thing. Maybe. As he goes after the archer. It's going to take him a while, but this guy will get around. I don't think I'm a fan of that. I think I'm going to pause. Or, not pause, but wait. And then I'll attack. Let's see what's happening. Let's lead. By example. Strong versus pole arms. Okay, good. Nice. Hale's holding on. He is not. Just keep going, Hale. Never stop. I have Aegis again, and I think I have to give it to this guy. Who's this? It's him. We'll give him a good old Aegis. Time for you to punch. Okay, the Aegis was the correct play. Now we have a big heal. And I think we bring Urtuk into the action. I might regret this. But, like I mentioned before, 
I think Ertak actually is a lot of our yeah. burst damage. I need last stand to pop up. Ow, it hurts so much. We got some healing. I'm sorry, you war. That was a one shot. Alright, this kills him. Just kidding. Thought it did. It said it did. Urtuk is in huge trouble. Okay. We don't have last stand. But this will heal me a lot. Artorius is the only one that can push. And I can't move. Oh, I do have last stand. But I can only give it to one person. It has to go to good old Ertak, right? Alright, it goes to him. We've decided. And I'm gonna try and kill this guy. Like, burst him down right quick. If that's even possible. Angel's packed. We have last stand active. And I'm gonna give him an Aegis. Because he can't do it otherwise. What just happened? Hail's continuing to be thick. This is Ertak. He's getting another Aegis. And yeah, that's one down. I'm gonna try and kill this thing. Good, he's down. Mass killer. Good block. Excellent slaying. Bruh. We need our Aegis back. Oh no, I can taunt him. Nice. And then I can try and get into position to shoot him. This was not a fight I would like to repeat. Ever. Honestly. I actually think that Artorias is dead. Like, dead, dead. Oh, that was tough. That, when it said hard, it meant hard. And he is. You're not sure why Valdorian soldiers were stationed here, but you did find some nice loot. Artorias. I'm sorry. I didn't do right by you. I think his sword was too... terrifying, you know? Now rise, Artorias. Second. Aw, there's no more room. Second. So I can't have another death because I can't put another... <laughs> Second of your name. Uh, in battle. We definitely want a shield person here, I think. I think that's like a requirement. Now, thankfully, I've hoarded everything. So... <laughs> I should have a good sword here. No, it's not a bad sword. I think this sword's what killed him, honestly. So let's use it again. I never learned my lesson. Okay, we have a rare silver helmet, though. Uh, we had the relic on him. We had this. I guess we want more HP. Honestly, I shouldn't be using this sword. Look at my health. We'll, uh, we'll hold on to that sword for another day, you know? Maybe if we're feeling really confident again. I don't know when that'll happen, but if it does. You know, his poisonous criticals might be really good. Because a lot of the enemy, well, it depends what we're fighting, right? Like, a lot of the werebeasts that we're healing, that would be really good against, because it would reduce their healing. But I mean, the things we were just fighting, it wouldn't have helped at all. Well, it wouldn't have helped much. We are here. Why? Oh, it's red because I'm there. Ugh. Another hard fight. Rumors are spreading 
about a secret bandit hideout located nearby to the north of you. Their boss is supposedly quite formidable and possesses a legendary item. This is dumb. <laughs> Investigating this location, you discover an underground passage leading to a vast cavern. Descending deeper, you come upon a group of bandits planning some vile skullduggery. Amongst them, you recognize their mighty chieftain. Great. Alright. What are we looking at? That must be the chieftain. Okay. I recognize some potential plays. We could. We have options here. Option one. This must be the scavenger that's from um, the event. So option one is to turn around. The enemy is most likely going to come to me, right? So what we do is we turn around and kill this dude. Easy peasy. Let them come to us and perhaps try and position for some cheeky knockdowns into the pit of death. This can be a little challenging, but I'm kind of okay with it. And I think we should play defensive after our last battle. Intruders. Kill them. Why did you just take a ton of damage? I don't fight for your enemies out of loyalty. They gave me a choice. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I care. I don't. I don't care. Artorias the second. Oh, is that a pit of death? It is. All right, so they're going to come to me as expected. He's in position, but I can't get there. I don't have ram or anything. It'd be cool if I did. I need my HP heal the trigger for good old Eratok. His was an unfortunate end. Okay. So they're kind of split up. I definitely want to kill. Can he pull? That's probably much easier to p lure people into these traps is to pull them. Uh, anyway, I want. I definitely want to kill the archers first. I think it might be prudent to try and like hold up here and let them slowly come to me. Besides, this is the high ground anyway. I might leave Artorias the second here. Because I haven't learned my lesson, obviously. But also because... I think it would be nice. He's a-coming. Ertak. I'm not doing anything, anything with you yet. Wait your turn. Go smash. Speaking of smashing. You're just smashing. Um. Guess I'm gonna hit this thing. Maybe I shouldn't have. Okay. Range support requires a lot of stamina. Which, I mean, makes sense. It's pretty strong. Um, bah. Need to be here to get a clean shot. I don't know if I want Earthhug in the front line. But him being there, punching things with his stick, kind of makes me feel better. Slowed him. There's the boss. We could bash him. Allow us to reposition a little bit. Okay. I broke his shield as well. Well, let's have an archer fight. 
that's gonna go well for you. My archer is very strong. You're out of breath, huh? The most thing I've seen about this... Oh, I have man cleaver active or something. Well, I guess I'm waiting. Oh, he's after Stoimar, though. He's, oh, he stunned him. He's not after it. He's not having any of it. My freaking archer. Um, if I could move here, then I could punch him into freaking death, basically. Speaking of death, that monstrosity annihilated him with a single blow. We're all gonna die. It's damn straight. Oh, speaking of dying. All right, well. Speaking of dying, let's kill this guy. I'm gonna last stand him. Everyone help me. Help me. Anakin, I'm too weak. I feel like I've made this reference before. But it just gets better every time. I still have last stand active. Shooting twice is cheating, bro. Get man split. Alright, you're dead. And I'm at like no HP. Oh, I actually got a shot in. There's last stand. Beautiful. I'm gonna give him Aegis. Keep punching. Ooh, the Aegis only ate that. I don't have another one for you. I have a feeling. Oh no, we're good. Should be able to Aegis the next attack as well. I'm gonna move this way. Meh. can just reach him. Oh, and I have another Aegis. Alright. We did it. I'm pretty sure. Smack. You're gonna go around. Arthok is in the way. I hope he can't jump or anything. That would be really awkward. You know what? Just in case. We're going to do that. I would like to get down. Oh, the archer's in the way. Okay. What do we have? We have retaliate, bleeding, panicked. Oh, this is ages and wait. Spear guy's coming to contribute to this. I can shoot you from here. Shielding failed, but that's okay. You don't need shielding. <clears throat> I'm here to save the day. Ooh. Ooh, these fights. These fights are getting hard, team. You dispatched the hapless bandits and discovered some valuables alcohol. Valuables alcohol and a legendary... Steel Chainmail. Masochist. Based on your missing HP, gain up to 100% additional total damage. That is awesome. Range support, light foot, agile. Action man. When maximum focus is reached. That could be useful. Like, I want it on... Bleh, but I don't know how quickly he gains focus. It doesn't seem to be very quickly. Maybe I should level that, because his focus ability is very good, thanks to our mutator. Alright, story mardo. You did well. You did well, lad. I liked your gusto. Artorius the second of his name. All these odd numbers is upsetting me. Let's fix it. 
Let's rectify that, shall we? Uh, who wears this? Is it... Oh, Stoimardo. Stoimardo, congratulations. You're now a masochist. Sorry about the health loss, but, you know, this, these things happen. Oh, he already has increased max HP as well. Do we give him more? How much does this raise your HP? Ooh, that's kind of good. That's kind of a lot of HP. It's like enough of an HP difference for me to be like, yeah, sure, take more. All right, no one was wounded though, right? Ooh, Stoimardo is wounded. I forgot about that. Okay. It's very important then that he didn't die. Okay. Village. A normal encounter. We've done it. You've arrived. You can now attack the village. Oh. That's... Where am I? Like, I see... Oh, I'm over here. Okay, how does this happen? So I need to either come up from down here... I feel like this is not a Stoy Mardo positioning. This feels, maybe incorrectly, like a bruh positioning. That's what it feels like. Hmm. I think I'm about to follow my heart and put Bra here, but I'm, he's wounded. Maybe we just put Artorius the second here, because even if Artorius the second falls, he's just injured. Like get him to move here and bait people into being punted off to death? It's frisky, but I like it. And then we'll have Ertuk and Bra come this way with Hale. Okay. All right. We'll keep our carry with his priest. Okay. Have a bolt to your face. Let's move slowly. Move together. I'm not sure why... I need to check that. I don't know why Urtuk is suddenly starting the battle with half HP. I will tell you that I don't like it. All right, we're standing here and we're holding our guard. Hale's coming as well. He's probably gonna get shot, but you know what? He's a thick boy. Oh, they're coming out to me. Now, this isn't terrible, uh, but I don't want Brett to get surrounded. The only concern here, of course, there are a number of concerns, but this thing, I don't know if it's actually going to fire, but when it did fire on the fortress, it can only fire in one direction. Hold on, can it not turn around? When it fires, it's, it's terrible. It's horrible. I hate it. So what I'm thinking about doing is going this way and like positioning my carry behind. Ooh. Behind my spear boy. My thick spear boy. Hello. Let's have a fight. A good old healthy fight. Man to man. Boy. Not a fan of that. Okay. Oof. He's getting owned. Okay. Um. I need to heal him. To move his bleed. I need to move back. Uh, I'm gonna move here. I'm not gonna do anything else. I can shoot him. What if I just start shooting him to death? 
Maybe I should contribute to this fight. I don't actually know. I'm gonna fight him. This is still going on. Oh, nope, it's done. I need a lot of help. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Hail, my thick boy. Uh, well, I only have one option and I hate it. I have two options. All right, he gets taunt, he gets healed. He's stunned, so this is actually not what I want to do. I don't want to lead. I mean, I do. I'm probably going to get shot to death, though. Okay. Oh, he attacks twice. Alright. Something good happened, but I don't really know what. Being stunned is the worst. And I have a feeling I'm about to find out more. Um... Like, if I taunt this thing, I'm dead, right? I feel like I'm dead no matter what, honestly. I feel like we're in trouble. Down goes Hale, my good friends. He's panicking. Uh... Ooh, I can't do anything here. Yep. Goodbye, brat. My good friends. I think that's the end, team. I think we've met our match. Well, that's not true. I think we've met the end. We've lost good friends. What? 50 50. Okay, we got the kill. I like how he left and then came back. All right, we have a lot of people to kill. Ow. Wow. Artorias II has been wounded. A lot of people to kill and not entirely sure how it's going to get done. Stunning Blow. Why don't you know Stunning Blow? Let's play Marlo. Huh? That would be really helpful to have, you know? So, lessons we've learned here. Lesson one. It doesn't matter who you are. Don't get surrounded. Lesson two. The Guardian is not the optimal choice for a YOLO mission. Because he doesn't do anything. Ooh, a snipe. I didn't read it. Something about maximum focus. Smack. If I go here. Here. Here? There we go. Trying to get a clean shot. Not always easy. I'm gonna shoot him because he has less armor, it looks like. See, this is what we needed to do. We need to funnel them in one by one to meet their doom. And my hand. Unfortunately, we lost both of the villagers because I've taken too long. But. This is a slaughter. I will live to fight another day. No, you won't. If I don't get to live to fight another day, you don't get to live to fight another day. See? Ooh. You captured the site, now all its valuable resources are yours. We lost Bruh and Hale. 
are two very powerful characters. On critical hit, chance to pierce armor. This could actually be really helpful because we've had a lot of armor. Hmm. I'll pick it up just to add it to the pool. After inscending the gate, you discover a carpet of purple mushrooms within. As you study them, organs on their surface begin to explore. Oh dear. Euphoria, strength. In every battle, each beast's damage, I'm not a beast, is increased by 39%. Okay, well, we have a problem, team. It's this. <laughs> Our team is, a pro is the problem. Um, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. I don't know. Improve the chain mail to superior quality plus three. Huzzah! Uh, somewhere east of you, people are talking about getting rumors of the clan occultists. They've established a hidden base and are kidnapping folk. What if I can find more people here? This is an easy battle. All right, there are villagers. These aren't horribly helpful. Is it giving me easy battles now because it feels bad for me? I hope so. I feel bad for me. I also see some cheesy opportunities. Do I think they're going to come through here? Not really. I still didn't look at that. I don't know why that's happening, but I do not like it. So I can just hide here real quick. All right, come to me. Unideal that they would have the high ground, but it is what it is at the moment. They don't seem interested in coming to me. Okay. I'm gonna go with Stoymar though. He seems safer at the moment. Kill. Okay. Oh, these are two levels higher. Let's go all the way around. Okay, that's fine. Villager down. I wonder, is the difficulty, was it always easy here? Or was it just like maybe calculated? based on ugh, whatever uh, the number of people we had that doesn't make sense but you know maybe I can't get up there all right no wonder they're running so far we're coming to fight I went the wrong way with uh who Artorius the second but that's okay because I'll just keep shooting people. I don't care. Good punch. I should have known, but I have enough stamina to do it again. Anapil is down. I'm not going to die with him. Why would you... What? I would not be very encouraged. Patience. That's a good trait. By um, Spearman, especially a terrible one like him. Hello. Allow me to assist you. Nope, he probably has stalwart. Aegis. <laughs> Oh, I needed to give someone the, um, the thing. Oh, my. Angel's packed. All right, well. First things first. Ow. Second thing. I believe in the damage he can commit. Well, he did not assist me. I believe a little less than the damage he can commit. 
What? Oh, Janichison. Nice. Does he have stalwart? He has stalwart. Great. I feel like... Oh, snipe. Nice. This is the thing we learned. So, it's a shot. Single shot at extended range takes with a much higher hit chance. Focus gain is reduced until next turn. This ability is considered a normal attack. Huh. Alright. Well, the angel pack thing kicked in again. He still has lifesteal. Here's another Aegis. Oh, I killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> this went well. That's the word for this. Well. Good job, me. Now, remember a while ago, I said... I don't know why I picked Iron Man, because I don't... I like to have save files to go back to, if for whatever reason the save file's corrupted, or I do something really stupid. Your situation looks quite hopeless. Sometimes a strategic reti retreat is a better option than fighting to the death. That's what you think. Oh, you got stalwart. No. It's definitely a good idea to retreat from the situation. But, um... I don't think Artorias can. There's the angel pact thing. Well, goodbye. The archer makes it out alive. Would have thought. Now we have a problem. You failed to save Urtak. He's dead. And this cannot be reversed. Your journey ends here. Well... He's dead. I feel a little bad that I killed him with his own ability, but at the same time, he was going to loot, die in there anyway, because Stoimardo did not have another turn left. So the lessons of the last battle applied here. Lesson one, don't send a guardian alone. They don't do well alone. Lesson two, don't get freaking surrounded. What did I do? Both of those things. Yay, retaining information. Well, Artak is dead. The journey has ended. I've royally screwed up. So. But. I don't know why I said so. That's the wrong transition. The correct transition is but. But with every story that ends, a new story can begin. And I want to know if you want to see more Artak, the desolation, or if you want to see something else. I do actually want to unlock the other campaigns. But, um, we didn't, obviously. Here's the game over screen in case you're curious. This is a great screen. This is like a screenshot screen. Is F12 screenshot if you don't have print screen? Aha! That's such a great screen. All right. I'm going to take another one because I think my cursor was in the way. My kiosa. There we go. Okay. All right. Wait, what does this do? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just reminding me that you failed. So. We, if you wanted to see more, we could start a new campaign. Uh, we might start with another team. Maybe. I don't know why, but the war monk fascinates me. See, I never got to the second zone, so we don't have vampires, and where beast when we reach the final zone? Does that mean there are only three zones? I mean, it makes sense. It's plenty long. We were on adventure difficulty. Maybe I won't do Iron Man this time, if you want to see more, but you'll have to let me know, and we'll go from there. So thank you all for watching, who stuck through with this series. I'm sorry it ended the way it did, but Erethunk is dead. I can't do much more about that. And I'm sorry I screwed up a lot, but I feel like I've learned. I feel like if we were to come back and do this all over again, I would have much better success. I'd leave it up to you. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.